Hi, this is Tracy Gardner with TracyGardner.com, and I am here today to show you how to create a mind map. Now, this is something that's probably not new to you guys, or the phrase isn't new. This is something I started using probably back six years ago, and I use a software called Mind Manager, which is powered by MindJet. But today we're going to go back to the old-fashioned formula, which is actually just with a beautiful piece of white paper on the wall, and we're actually going to get out the colored markers, and we're going to just create a mind map. Okay, this was something that was created back in probably the 1970s by Tony Buzan, and it is actually just a great way to marry the right, lane, right brain and the left brain. Okay, this is a way to unlock your creative genius. Now, usually when we are note-taking, what we have done and what we've been trained to do is actually in a linear fashion where you're um, actually going in an outline form. So by outline form, you're starting with your top idea and going down with your one, and then A, B, C. That's not how our brains really work. So the best thing is to use a mind map where you create a central idea and then you build off in branches, sub-branches. You use keywords, key phrases. You use um, color, um, different color for each of your areas, and then you also use um, emblems, pictures, you know, anything that the brain can remember, and it's a really great way to, like I said, unlock your creative genius and work through a lot of brainstorming issues. So, here's what we have on the wall. We've just taken a piece of paper, and we put it in landscape form, which is one of the keys here. So, I have all my markers, and what I do is I usually just start taking off the lids to them, so it's just, you know, if I'm getting in my creative genius, I like to actually have them readily available, and so I will do that. Now, for the central idea and the topic today, we're just going to do it on me, because this is a simple exercise that you could do for yourself just to get down the idea of mind mapping. Okay, so instead of me drawing a lovely picture of myself because I am not an artist, we have decided to actually take a picture of myself and just put it up here, for cheating's sake, since I am not the artist. So what I'm going to do is actually draw my first branch. And the idea with your branches is you want to make them kind of curvy. So right here, my first one, I'm going to put that I am a mom. Okay? The second step, or the second one, I'm going to put um, that I am a wife. The next one, you could put job, business. I'm going to put um, business owner. And I'm a lefty with not the best penmanship, so excuse any penmanship. The next one I'm going to put is hobbies. And the next one that I might put is goals. This can be anything. I'm just giving you some examples. You can do um, mind mapping actually on your to-do list. You can do it on a trip, an event. Planning an event, planning a training event. You can do it for brainstorming. If you're implementing a software system, you can use that to start um, doing your brainstorming. So it's just a great brainstorming tool. And so now what we're going to do, we've kind of just made some main categories here, or main branches as they're called. And I'm going to just put some other branches off to that, the main ones that I've created. So as a mom, I have three children. And there's no right answer to doing this. I don't want you to think that this is exactly the way you should do it, but it just gets your creativity flowing. So my three children, I have Grady, Bailey, Mitch. Then I can actually even expound on each of the kids, and I can put Grady, you know, um, teenager. I can also put that he's um, athletic. I can keep going on and on and on, and it just kind of gets your juices flowing. There's no order to it. You can come back to different areas, and that's the beauty of it. It's not where you have to, the linear fashion, where you are actually making a list. Like if you're doing your to-do list, you feel like you need to prioritize. This is something you don't have to do. You can actually randomly go around and fill in the spots. So that's the beauty of this. Okay, so the wife portion. I am the wife to Tom. Tom is also a dad. He's a business owner. He is a hunter. He is, and that's his hobby. 
and then I could go into his business, um, same thing, the kids, um, many different areas that I could branch off into. Business owner. Okay, I am a coach, consultant, trainer. Um, I motivate, inspire, and I can just do a branch off that. And as you see here, all I've used is keywords. There's not more than one word. You can use a key phrase if it means something to you. But our brains don't think in sentences. We think in keywords and key phrases. Um, I can actually, um, as a, let me, I'm looking for something that I can do. Oh, I know. For Tom, I can put a heart. Because it's great to use emblems and photo or, you know, art. And there's some of you that are amazing artists and we'll just have so much fun with this. But this is the way to, as I'll put, uh, phrase it, bling it up and make it your own. And really have fun with it. And this is even something great for your children. Great ways for them to learn and map out things for them. Because making lists for children is so difficult. And it's, in fact, difficult for anybody. Because, like I said, on that to-do list, you're like, well, thinking about priorities. This priority might be more th better than this one. And not knowing... This can actually sort that out and help you decide because you're actually diving into it further and you don't have to have it in sequence and start over. So, like, um, under hobbies. Okay, one of my hobbies. I know it sounds boring. Work. Um, I love to read on self-help. Um, jet ski. Love water sports. Um, goals. Um, that's a, a big one. And like goals might be um, um, speaking on stage, you know, something that I'm setting up, or um, I'm going to be on Oprah. There's a nice big lofty goal. Something like that. Now, the next thing you can do after you've kind of did this and you've blinged it up and you've made it all your own, what I like to do is I like, actually like to kind of cap off. Now, let's say I'm kind of done, and you can always make room. I kind of make clouds and when there's a specific area, and we'll just call them clouds. There's, that's just what I'm just calling them. And you'll kind of just kind of keep and contain everything in one area. So that the, those ideas that went with that stay together. And we are almost finished with this. I didn't bling it out as much as I could bling it out for you. But to give you the general idea, you can see. Now, and like I said, this can be used for planning meetings, planning events, planning any training events, planning a speech. Even if it's a speech topic, you can actually put all your topics in here. Um, writing an article. Like I said, your to-do list, going on vacation. You start with your central idea of a vacation. You could even put a picture of where you're going or where you want to go and how you're going to get there and making um, your airline reservations, shopping, your pre-shopping, whatever that may be. So this is just a great tool. So this has been phase one because the next video I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use Mind Manager Pro, which is powered by MindJet, and I'm actually going to use that because that's what I use for all my clients. When we get on the phone or we are in person, I build them a mind map of their marketing strategy. So anyway, this has been Tracy Gardner, and I hope you find this exercise useful and actually share this with your friends and family. Thank you.